I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another Saturday product share. Today I'm going to share with you some information. If you have a small group, a baseball team, a soccer team, a cheerleading squad, um, even a school if you're doing a fundraising or if you're planning a fundraising event in the future, I would hope that you would consider Rada for that fundraising event. I wanted to give you a basic overview and then we're going to sit down at the computer so I can show you where on their website you can go take a look at where you can get information about how to do all of this. So let's go take a look at some of the things that they sent me and I'm going to do a basic overview of their fundraising program. The thing we're to really mainly focusing on today is the fundraising program. This is the packet that you're going to get. It includes a rated catalog. The fundraising catalog is the catalog that you see in every box that you order when you get an order from Rada. This is the, there's a fundraising order form on here and an order taker form that you'll get. I have taken one out of, this is their fundraising catalog. And you can have a look at these prices. These prices are really good, and I believe that they're very, I think they're the same prices. I think that the catalog is the same across the board. So when you sell Rada, you're selling um, a tried and true product for one thing, and you're going to get 40%, which is far better. Usually when you do a fundraiser for a company that offers a catalog full of tchotchkes or wrapping paper, you're making 20%. Rada offers 40%. You're also going to get... This is the fundraising order form. This is your main order form that you're going to fill out when you get all of your orders in from your representatives. This is the order taker. So there's a place for each person who orders to write their name, address, phone contact information, and the items that they want to order. You take the cash or the payment at the time you make the sale and you turn it in and you go from there. There's also a little fundraising made easy booklet that will help you understand how you're supposed to do it. This information is also available online. And there are three different ways that you can do it. You can do, um, you can do a catalog sale, which is what you're used to where someone comes to you and says, we're selling uh, Raiden knives for our band, and would you like to take a look at the catalog and make a purchase and we're going to raise money for new uniforms or whatever. You can also do what they call event sales where you can set up at your local farmer's market or whatever. You would make purchases in advance and sell them piecemeal to people who pass by. The other option is to do an internet fundraiser. This is what I was mentioning because my particular girls school does not allow them to sell knives because it's a liability risk, but much you can do it through the internet. You can call Rada, set up an account, you give them your banking information uh, for your group, and then you give everybody that you want to sell to the information, the login information, you get a special code, you go to the website, you make your selection, you pay for it at the time of that you, you do go ahead and pick what you want to buy, make your purchase, and then once a month Rada is going to make a deposit into your account. So this can also be done in conjunction with the catalog sale if you want to be able to offer people who don't live near you the uh, opportunity to purchase something for your fundraiser. This is a great way for friends and relatives who might want to be able to support your fundraising efforts who don't live near you and you can't get to them um, to make a purchase. So there are options here. If you have questions, you can just call Rada up and one of their uh, phone representatives will be happy to talk you through the whole process and send you the materials that you're gonna need to get your fundraiser off the ground. Rada sent me some great stuff, the ice cream scoop. I had received one, and I'm keeping this one in the packaging, but this is how you'll receive it. All your knives will come with a, with a cardboard sheath, and uh, unless they are in a gift box, but they come in the sealed plastic bag. <clears throat> this is the ice cream scoop. This is a fantastic ice cream scoop or ice cream spade. It's very, very sturdy, and you can see it actually has a sharpened edge on it. It's beveled so that it makes going through that hard ice cream a breeze. Also, the pizza cutter. Now, I have a pizza cutter also that is in the aluminum finish. This is in the um, 
bonded resin finish and these are great this I used this pizza cutter the other day in my deep ditch pan pizza video this thing is great for cutting all sorts of pizza thin crust thick crust whatever you have easy to cut dough with if you're going to do pastry work and I like it because that wheel is nice and big this is a really nice and sturdy piece I love it this is their mini mini server I believe this is called you can see how thin that little turner is. This is great for getting brownies or bar cookies out of the pan. Everybody needs to have one of these in their drawer. And the great part about this is all these rated products are really affordable. This is one thing I was very excited to get in my box. This is a granny pearer. This is the old-fashioned kind of knife that your granny used to peel apples, potatoes. It has a curved edge that curves inward so when you peel towards you you can see how effective that knife is that blade's going to just take the skin right off of an apple or a potato and it's got a nice little curve in it so you can pick out those potato eyes. He also sent me some more of these daisy scrapers. This is I reach for these things all the time, especially with my uh, stoneware baker. This, this is the first thing I use if I want to clean that out. I just take it. This has three separate, well actually four, different sides different corners it gets into the corners of any kind of pot or pan or baking dish you can imagine and this has a nice sharp edge on it and you can just toss that in your dishwasher silverware um, basket and it's going to get nice and clean these come in a two pack right there and then there's this beautiful pizza stone this is the same stoneware that the stoneware baker is made from. I will definitely be using this. This is bigger than the stone pizza stones that I actually have. It is 15 inches around. So we're going to be definitely using that. And this is also great for baking cookies. You can use it to reheat pizzas in the oven. You can you can think of this as a round cookie sheet, really. And over time it does attain a nonstick surface. These things they sent me a larger one. These are the small um, mini flexible cutting boards. I use my big one every single day. No joke. These little ones are going to get used as well. This is a nylon spatula. And if you look really, really close, look at the two outer um, vents are in the slots. shape of knives. The two outer slots, they're in the shape of knives. Is that not adorable? Really is. I'm really happy to have this because those two new frying pans that Rick gave me for Christmas, I have to use nonstick uh, utensils because uh, I don't want to scratch up those surfaces. So I was really happy to get this. Um, I will definitely be using that. I got a couple of gift sets. One is the peel, pair, and slice gift set. It has a regular paring knife, the regular peeler, and the fabulous rated tomato knife that everybody raves over. I also got the party set, which has the cheese knife and the mini spreader. Right. That's right. Um, these things, definitely great gift sets. And everything you see here is available in the catalog for your fundraiser. Everything is available in either the brushed aluminum or the bonded resin finish. This. Mine. Yeah, you said it as soon as it came out of the box. This is a fillet knife. It comes with the sheath. This is perfect for the hunter in, or fisherman in mm -hmm. your life. Look at this thing. Is that not beautiful? And this handle is rubberized. Mm -hmm. So it's a non-slip grip. It also has a bail through the handle so you can put a leather thong through that um, so that he can attach this or hang it up to dry or whatever. This also comes in this wonderful sheath that can be put on a belt so that you're not going to lose it. So that is a really, this is a beautiful um, knife, I think. Mm -hmm. I also received some cookbooks. You know, you might not think about it, but in the back of the Rada catalog, there are a whole lot of really awesome little cookbooks. And if you're a cookbook junkie like me, these are right up your alley. I got the Dump Bake Cakes, and I'm going to be going through this and having a look. There's all sorts of recipes here for dump cakes. Who doesn't love a dump cake? And then a cookbook called Mommy and Me, so that you can have a little fun cooking with your children or your grandbabies and um, have a little bit of fun. And these little mini ones, they have, these are uh, 
dedicated to one specific theme. There's all sorts of little recipes in here that include ice cream as an ingredient. And then there's the Rata mixes. <clears throat> and the other thing they sent me was this burger and fry seasoning. So we were really excited. We're going to use this. You'll see us using that. And I'm going to use some of these mixes and some recipes just for fun. And I'll share them with you. They also sent a little recipe guide for using their quick mixes. They have several different kinds. They have the dip mixes. This is a chipotle. They have a marinade here. This is a Jamaican jerk marinade. Here's a spinach and artichoke dip. A cucumber, onion, and dill dip. And this one, this is a cheese ball. This is a sweet and hot pepper jelly cheese ball. This one is in a plastic bag because it comes, it's a two-part kit. It comes with the sweet pepper topping that you roll the cheese ball in, and then this is the base for your cheese ball in this big envelope here. They also have some great soup mixes. This is a baked potato soup mix that you, you know, you follow the instructions. I think you probably add water and then you heat it up. Those are awesome to have in your pantry for those nights when you just don't know what to have. You throw this together, you make some sandwiches, or you heat up a roll of bread, and you're good to go. Here's some scampi sauce that I'm excited to try. You make this with some grilled chicken or some shrimp, and then make some pasta, and you've got a meal ready to go. And this, I have plans for this. Dan sent me this the last, the, the first box he sent me, he sent me this mix. This is the traditional butter pound cake, but I wanted to share it with you because I haven't had an opportunity to use it yet. He also sent me the key lime sweet dip, which can also be made into a pie. And then the last time he sent me this island coconut sweet dip, which could also be made into a pie as well. But I have plans for this and this. I'm going to mix up the, the cake and put it in my stoneware baker. Then I'm going to mix up this dip and I'm going to poke holes in the cake and I'm going to put this on the top and I'm going to make a sweet island coconut bar oh, cake. Must. And I think it'll be awesome. So that is my little overview. And now we're going to go to the computer and I'm going to show you where on Rada's website you can find all of this information for your fundraising efforts and we will get you up to speed on all of that. You just open RadaCutlery.com and then here on the left hand side of the page there's a little satellite button. You just click on it. It says fundraising. There are going to be some different steps here and an overview that's going to give you all of the information you need from how it works to the different products, the profits you're going to make, and to the service that you can expect to receive. Um, you can request your free information packet. They also offer uh, videos here where you can learn more about how to go about your fundraising effort. You can get all of your fundraising materials. If you go down here to products, you're going to learn all about the different things that you can get. It is a regular catalog, and the prices remain the way they are in the catalog as you see them. And you make 40% when you go ahead and do a fundraiser through Rada. You're going to make 40% profit, and that is really an amazing number, considering how much I know other companies are only giving you 20%. So that's definitely something for you to consider. And at Rada, you're going to get excellent service. You're going to be able to call them anytime you need to during regular business hours, and you're going to be able to get the health that you need. Here's your online catalog. You're going to be able to look at that. And this is just like the catalog that you get when you or make an order and they stick one in there for you to look at. Or if you call them up and you ask for a catalog to be sent to you, this is what you're going to see. I think there's something here for everyone. There's definitely something useful here for everyone. That is a lot of information about the Rate of Fundraising program. I hope that if you have a, a group fundraiser coming up in the future, like I said, baseball team, soccer team, cheerleading squad, church, um, even band. school, band, that's a big one, chorus, I always had to sell things for chorus. So it's all up to you, but I hope that you'll consider it if you're planning a fundraiser in the future because I really think that you're going to see a great profit. Some people are going to get things that they can actually use. 
they can buy things that they can gift with pride, and I think that they'll be well received. Remember, you get 40% profit from the sale of Raina knives and products for your fundraiser. And if you ever get stuck or need help, the people at Raina are always available by phone or online to help you and talk you through it. So I hope you'll consider Raina for your next fundraiser. I hope that you learned something that you didn't know before. I hope this was a great and helpful overview. And until next time, I'll see ya.